Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you are doing fantastic. And today we got us another Hunt Vault Elite box. But before we get into it, make sure you smash that subscribe button. Make sure you ring that notification bell so you do get notified when I upload new content. So yeah, let's do it. All right, so Hunt Vault Elite. They offer a monthly subscription box, and they really only have one level, and it is $160 per month with free shipping and handling. If you push that out and give them a 12-month commitment, they will knock $10 off, which saves you $120 on that yearly subscription. It makes the box only $150 a month. And as I said, they do offer free shipping, and they are a veteran-owned and family-owned business, and they do offer veteran discounts. And real quick, before we really get into this box, I told you guys that I read all the comments and I do appreciate all of the comments and all the feedback that you guys give me. And I encourage you to hit that comment section down below and uh, you know let me know what you think about any of these boxes that we open. And also a link to Hunt Vault Elite will be down in the comment section or in the description box of this video. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but right here, I added to my backdrop the little kitty morale patch with the knife in his mouth from the last subscription box. So if you haven't seen that video, just back up one and uh, check it out. And let's see what we got. We got the cool little packing material. And uh, do we have a card? I don't, I don't see a card, but we have a Cyclops headlamp and there's a two pack and these run on AAA batteries which they do give you so yeah we got two headlamps which are awesome because out of every type of flashlight headlamps are probably the ones that I really like the most because I like them because you don't have to you know hold anything so yeah very cool these have four modes two uh, side green LEDs two reds two whites Let's see, what's the output? 210 lumens on high, 72 lumens on low. They give you 6 hours of life on high and 16 hours on low. So yeah, these, you know, I, I hate to use the term generic, but these are kind of your more generic headlamps. I, I don't have any experience with Cyclops, if that is the brand name. Let's see www.cyclopsolutions.com There you go. Let's see, we got some uh, slot lock. Boy, that's, 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 that's a tongue twister, man. I almost said something else that I did not want to say, that I didn't mean to say just by trying to say that. That's why I kind of said it so slow. But these are some really cool anchoring stakes. So, yeah. The, the, the catch, the gimmick to these are in the ends, are in this end right here where you can take your, your paracord and you can go around and you can loop it through and, it, and you can see there it has a, it has a little indention where you can take your cord and when you go through it you can pull it through and it'll actually cinch down on your cord. So these things are really nice. They're, they're really dense, dense material and they do have a head on them. You know, hopefully that'll come up. Yeah, so you can, you know, you can beat them into the ground. If you're like anywhere in the south, like we are down here, that, you know, sometimes you get that red clay and that ground is literally as hard as Portland cement. And yeah, for those of you guys that are down south, you all know that struggle of trying to put a tin up when you got that really hard ground. So yeah. Yeah, you can, you can use these things for anything. There, there is four of them. So yeah, those things are always handy. And let's see, we got some butt stock. Uh, shotgun shell holder. It's an elastic. It's just that one of these elastic thing holds five shells. I have a couple. I've gotten. I've gotten these stuff like this in other in other boxes. So yeah, you know these things are always good if you don't have them and you and you shoot uh, you know shotgun or you can actually they make they make them also. Uh, I had another box a while ago that had some that you could put regular rifle cartridges in. This is a, a geo press purifier so I'm assuming by purifier that means something to do with some water uh, if there is magic on this planet it is contained in water 
All right, there you have it. If there's magic on this planet, it's contained in water, which is why you want the water to be filtered, because if it's magic, you don't want it to be crap magic. All right. All right. Oh, okay. So apparently, this thing has some really intricate pure purification solution down here at the bottom of this thing. And apparently, you just put the water in it, and somehow or other, it filters it. I don't have any experience with this, but they gave you, well, you can't really see it. It's a white sticker that has the name of the company on there. So, yeah. We got, that's a water purifier. This is just like uh, some of the, you know, the, the, the all-in-one bottles where you see you put the water in it and, and it just will, you know, strain it and everything. So, yeah, this is, it's a really cool looking bottle. You know, I dig the green and the orange. It does have a, a little attachment point here. Yeah. Awesome. So yeah, just a, a really cool, a cool little water bottle. Has their logo right there on it. Yeah, really nice. I really like it. Like I said, I don't have any experience with it. And I'm going to tell you, a lot of people, you know, when, when you guys comment, like I hope you do in the comments section, because I really do, do love seeing the comments. The, 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 one of the things I like about getting the subscription boxes isn't necessarily that I get disappointed with products it's more the fact that i get exposed especially to different types of products and different brands that i might normally be exposed to so it just you know gives me a lot of frame of reference whenever i go to a camping store or whatever and i see brands like this that i have no experience with but now have now that i have this and i will use it then you know it, it, it'll be at least familiar to me and here is the book that has kind of a depiction of how this bottle filters the water if you are interested to know it says it does 99.9% .9 of viruses 99.9999% uh, of bacteria and 99.9 .9 protozoa and of course it does microplastic sediment it does have a replaceable cartridge which I'm pretty sure by the way it looks it's something proprietary and but how much can you filter before she gives up how much because usually you know the companies these companies at least from what i see they really pride themselves on telling you around how much water they will filter and of course that is dependent if you go to like a swamp and, you, and you're trying to filter the nastiest water imaginable then yes it's, the filter is going to plug up very quickly whereas if you're just you know you're running this through, you know, water that's not really that nasty, you know, it, of course the filter's going to last a lot longer. So it's subjective. And this looks like a little camping seat. Maybe for like a tree stand or something. It is a thermos seat. Perfect for the hunter who likes to cover ground, lightweight, durable, waterproof. The Predator XT ensures comfort and support for longer sits with maximum portability. There you go. That's, that's, this, this is... This is everything you could think of for your rear end, I guess. This is does everything, and it's just some kind of foam material. It's not that it's it's not heavy at all, and it does have a little carabiner here, so you could, you know, latch it, you know, lash it to something, so it didn't, you know, I don't know how. I mean, if your butt's planted on it, you know, it's not going anywhere. But I guess that's for making it, you know, not whoops, not coming off your gear or anything. Okay, so yeah, that's it. Got a little seat. Or a little, at least a seat cushion. And let's see. Oh, we do have a card. Whoops. Okay, I did not see this. And this does say Hunt Vault. It does say April 22 Elite Collection. All right. So at least we know we got April's box. And then the last thing in here is kind of a big, a big item. Because it was almost as big as the box. And what we'll do... What is that? Okay, something something leaked. And I'm assuming it's whatever... Oh man, it's all over my desk. Whatever this is. What is this? What is this? I 
Okay. Oh, well, this is coffee. Uh, sorry for keeping you waiting on that, but it's coffee that... I don't know where this stuff comes from, though. There's some weird, weird stuff in the, in the box. This says it was roasted on 4-1 of 22. Okay, and this is uh, Kodiak blend, medium roast. All right. So it's a little tin of coffee. And there's three of them in here. So we got this Kodiak blend. And then we have a, a Mesa blend, which is a light roast. And this was done for one of 22 as well. And then we have a Montana roast, which is a dark roast. All right, this is Guatemala. For one of 22. So this is some pretty fresh coffee. And I don't want to rain on nobody's parade. Oh, what, what is all this? stuff man it's all over everything all right well i'm going to clean my my desk here uh, and they give you a little brewing guide all right boy it even tells you even tells you how it tastes all right so yeah they give you this little card here which is kind of interesting if you want to pause that it gives you just a lot of information and again I don't have any experience with that. So let's go to the card and see what we got. For the GeoPress water purifier, 90 bucks. 90 bucks. All right. These and, and that's the thing too about these these, you know, these all these weird kind of water purifiers. Man, a lot of these things get really expensive and you got to watch out because a lot of these filters are proprietary whatever brand makes them and a lot of times the cartridges are very expensive so just kind of be on the lookout for that too so whenever you're looking for that water purification solution not don't just go buy the purifier itself also look for the replacement cartridges and see how expensive they are all right so for the drive coffee 75 bucks for three 12 ounce things of, of coffee so you guys tell me, is that a good deal or is that not a good deal? Do you have any experience with drive coffee? I've never heard of them. Uh, Cyclops headlamp two pack, forty bucks. Nah, that's about maybe in the in the in the neighborhood. The Thermos Seat Predator XT seat cushions, fourteen bucks. The anchors, uh, the anchoring stakes are nine bucks, and the Hunter's shotgun shell holder, three dollars. Yeah, I'm gonna say that that doesn't sound too too bad. There, there it is. If you guys want to pause and and give it a quick look, see. Hopefully, it focused. So yeah, what do you guys think? For if you did a 12 month, this would be 150. If you did a single month, it would be 160. According to this, you got your money's worth. But if you weren't happy with the water filter with this thing then this is ninety dollars of of retail value in your hundred and sixty dollar you know box so what do you guys think do you think that this box was worth it for because just just the purifier and the coffee is 165 bucks so that's the that covers the price so you would have got the seat you would have got the steak the headlamps, and the shotgun holder. Okay, that's all I got. Comment section down below. I hope to see you there. I will read your comments. I can't respond to every single one of them, but I do try, and I do read all of them. I will put a subscription button over here, next video over here, and let me know what you guys think about any of these products or this service if you, if you subscribe to Hunt Vault. And if you're happy with your subscription, I would really like to know. And that's it. That's all I have for you. See you next time. Peace.